The best conversions API integration for Meta is the API gateway, in my humble opinion. Now, the biggest obstacle with the API gateway is the cost, because by default, you set up um, your own server on Amazon, right? And that cost can be upwards of 80 to $100, maybe even more, depending on your activity, per month. So the API gateway itself was free, but you have to pay for the server. And that cost is not going to fit every business's budget. So this has been something that's been a bit of a focus for me for the last couple of years. Like, what is the best way? Because the problem is that there are so many ways to set up the conversions API. And I want to be able to provide one primary way that really anyone can use, regardless of how your website is set up. API Gateway is it, except for the cost. Now, there is an exception, and I'm so happy I found this. Um, I want to be very clear about something. I do not get anything from Stape for mentioning this. I don't. There's no uh, special links or anything that you're going to click that I'm going to get a cut. I don't know. You wouldn't get much of a cut anyway. This, this thing's so cheap. That's not my business. I just want to share this with you. So Stape allows you to do this insanely easily. So not only is it cheap, but the process is so streamlined and simple, you're, you're asked wondering if there's something missing. I wanna go through each of these steps. I'm sharing this as screenshots just so you don't have to see me typing all of a sudden and figure it all out. There's a full tutorial also at johnloomer.com slash stape. And there's an, kind of an important direct link to this as well that's in that blog post, so check that out. So let's go through this now, step by step. So the first thing you're gonna get is this link that goes straight to Create Conversions API Gateway. You're gonna provide your email address, you're gonna name your gateway, you're gonna indicate what server location to use, just what country are you in, and then indicate that by signing up you agree to their terms, and then click Create, okay, super simple. What's gonna happen then is that you're gonna get an email from Stape and it's gonna have your, your login in it and a green, green button to set your password. You click that, you're gonna create, this, is, I, this seems simple. I just wanna make sure everybody gets it. You're gonna enter your password twice. You already have your login, it was in the email. Click and you can sign up or whatever. Click save password. Then after that, you have to pick a subscription, okay? So if you're like me, you're like, I can't, I'm not going to commit to buying this, you know, some sort of subscription until I know I can actually make it work. I don't know how complicated this is. I tried to set up Stape in, in the past. I just couldn't get past the container stuff and it didn't make any sense to me. When you use this direct link like that, it's just ridiculous. All right. But anyway, feel free to go to start my seven day trial. But no, you've got options of $10 per month per pixel. So if you've got multiple pixels, you could you know, pay a little bit more. Or if you've got a whole bunch of pixels, like a whole bunch of clients, $100 per month unlimited, that's basically the same price as doing Amazon, you know, for one. So that's crazy. Anyway, I'm not a salesperson for these guys. Um, so after you, you pick that, then you'll, you know, you got to go through this process, say, okay, yeah, I want to subscribe. Um, and then you'll, you'll, you've, you've completed your subscription. Here, look, I was doing the uh, pay-as-you-go trial. You can just click this green button right here, and it'll go straight to finish the Capig uh, setup. Um, you'll, you'll otherwise get a separate email from Conversions API Gateway, all right? And you, click, you could click, click that link to accept the invitation. Either way, it's going to go to the same place. It's going to go here. This is the API Gateway. You just need to use the same email address you use to set up Stape. That's what Stape says. I haven't tested it to, to see if it matters. Um, and then password. Password doesn't have to be the same as Stape. Maybe you, maybe you want to do that so you remember. Maybe you have a good uh, password manager, though. Then create your account. Account has been su successfully created. And then uh, you got to log in again. Um, and because you just created your account, you didn't log in yet. So log in. And then you're going to be taken to, that's it. Oh, kind of, it's it. Uh, you're, I mean, this is a pretty important part. You're already in the API gateway. 
And um, so the first thing we're going to need to do is add a data source. So click there, click there in the overview. And then you've probably seen something like this before. It's, it's meta. You're c connecting to a business account um, to get access to your pixel and everything. So you click that blue get started button. Connect Converge's API gateway to Facebook. Click next. Allow host account admin to enable meta business extension. Click next. There's a lot of just clicking next, right? You're going to select your business manager account and click next. That, that's why I, I think you can um, do this for multiple clients at once uh, if you do the unlimited because you're selecting your business manager. And then you're going to select the pixel and click next, at least for this data source, right? So if you had multiple pixels, you would do this individually for each one. And then indicate, uh, yeah, the, this, we're basically just confirming, right? The business manager, pixel, if you want to turn on automatic advanced matching, I mean, probably should, right? But that's up to you. It's optional. You can show which data you're sending with that too. Click next. And then, um, yeah, you, you want uh, Converge's API gateway to manage ads for accounts. That's required. Manage your business. I guess technically it doesn't need to, um, but you can leave that on and then manage business extension required, click next. And then it says you're all set. We're not quite all set, but we're just about done. Click done. And then you need to pass your system user token. So this is something you'd find within your settings in Events Manager, but they've already got this all connected and ready to go. Agree to share your token, click confirm. And then that's it. You've got um, access to your um, API gateway. Now just know this is going to be zeros at first. It can take up to 30 minutes, even if you've got traffic for data to show up. I've heard some people where they see data almost immediately. When I did this, it might have taken 15 minutes or so. Like there were flashes every once in a while, I'd show a couple of them and then it would disappear and go back to zeros. About 30 minutes or so. There is a bit of a delay. It probably depends on where the server is at, honestly. And then, um, you know, at the bottom, it'll tell you things like success rate, events received, events published, and you can go event by event as far as what's being received. And this should be consistent with what you're sending um, into Events Manager, what you're seeing in Events Manager. I could tell you from firsthand experience because I was experimenting as a stopgap solution with Facebook's official WordPress plugin to turn this on. It was fine. It, you don't have to pay anything, right? not ideal to use a plugin, but the difference was immediate in my events manager, the number of events that are being sent from the API before to when I had this switched. So if you're struggling with finding a solution for your API, setting that up uh, on the website, API gateway, I strongly recommend API gateway, period. Stape is a great solution, especially low priced option. So Again, to learn more, go to johnlumer.com slash stape. It's just a full tutorial, including that initial link that you need to get in there. All right, hope that helps. Thanks. See you around.